Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Grant Hardy. There would be tops to tubes of paint that I couldn't physically remove. And I was either left with a choice of not painting or choosing a different color, neither of which were things that I wanted to do. My name is Michelle Hewitt. Um, I have MS as my disability. For Michelle, painting plays an important role in her life. In my, you know, pre-disability life, I, I was a musician, I was a music teacher, that kind of thing. And once I, once my MS took hold, I can't, I played flute and saxophone. I can't hold them anymore. I can't, I don't have the finger control and that sort of thing. So I was really looking for some sort of creative outlet. I just found a piece over being able to um, paint mostly sort of landscapes, um, sea scenes, just something that was very um, peaceful, that I could connect with, that I could use it, sort of my previous creative outlets in a very different way. But not being able to open paint tubes independently was a source of constant frustration. That is, until she stumbled on the website of Makers Making Change. I find this group and this amazing small tool that is just to describe it, it's just a piece, if you imagine a piece of plastic that's been folded in half that has a serrated inside edge to it and it's easy to grip in one hand to slide the um, to slide the lid of the tube of paint in the other hand and grip tightly as tightly as I can and turn so all of a sudden that very simple task that would require have required me to either have had someone else or to make decisions I didn't want to make is back in my control and that's what's important. Makers making change is a, a new model to get assistive technology to people with disabilities. It's really sort of a bottom-up sort of model. My name is Chad Lehman. I am the Director of Innovation at the Neil Squire Society. What we're working on is building a library of assistive devices that are all open source. So what we mean by that is on our Maker Think Change website, we have like a full bill of material. So here's how, let's say we're going to build something like a, an assistive switch. It will show us like you know, we'll have on the file where to get the 3D printed files from, where to get the components, and the instruction manual how to pull together. The key to the program is connecting people who need devices with makers in the community who can help build them. Makers like Gavin Jacobs, who 3D printed Michelle's paint tube opener. Really know if it was gonna work, so I built a prototype based on this design and uh, took it to my wife in her studio there. She dabbles with watercolor and acry acrylics. And she tried it and said, yeah, it's really good. And I said, okay, let's mail it off. And she says, no, I'm not giving this back. <laughs> so and I knew that the design was good. So I built another one for Michelle. Michelle also found another device that made her four-legged friends very happy. A dog treat dispenser that attached to her wheelchair. You put poor treats in at the top, you move a lever and a treat comes out at the bottom. Anything I can do with my dogs just you know, fills me with so much joy. So this is something to see the looks on their faces, to just to get the slobber off my hands, anything. It's a wonderful thing. The great thing about 3D printing is that there are different websites that'll host free models. I'm uh, Tyler Schurz. I'm from uh, form to fit We're a uh, local 3D printing company. Tyler built Michelle's dog treat dispenser and believes that makers can play an important role in increasing access. Disabled people in Canada are grotesquely underserved uh, and just disabled devices in general are very uh, prohibitively expensive. So any way that uh, we can work to uh, make this stuff more accessible is, is awesome. Like it's great. For Chad, keeping the process simple and human was essential. That ability to sort of meet people where they are and help them get the devices that they feel they need is different than some of the other models that are looking very much like how would you use a device in the workplace or how would you use a device in school? This is really looking like what device do you need to help you in your life where you are at? 
So if there's people with disabilities watching that are looking for assistive devices, you can request them through our website or join our forum and talk about what barrier you're facing and see if the community can fulfill that. And if you're looking to give back to your community, it's a really tangible way where you can do something with your hands and use your skills to help make a more accessible Canada. It's people helping people. It's disabled people saying, I have a need. And it's a group of people who have that mechanical inventing part to them and like working on their 3D printers or working with electrical switches or whatever it is saying, hey, I'd like to take that challenge on. I'd like to see if I can make that for you. And that's it, right? There's no, there's no big contracts. There's no forms to fill in beyond that. It's, I have a need, I think I can help you.